Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine, and in this video, I'm showing you the Cosmo Cricut swatch sticks with the resist pen. In this video, I'm going to be sharing the Cosmo Cricut swatch sticks with the Cosmo Cricut resist pen. And I'm going to make a card just similar to this, whereas I use the resist pen to write thank you and, um, and then the swatch sticks to color over top of it. So I have a watercolor card here and my resist pen. Now when you start to use the pen you want to just make sure you can see that there's some ink there. So that way you know your pen is activated. And I am going to just write on here. So you won't be able to see it because it is white. Now when you're doing it I can see it. Now I can see it to my eye, so you, when you're doing it, you'll be able to see what you are writing and where you did write, but you probably won't see it on camera. So now, over here, it came out quite heavy, and so I'm going to have to wait for that to dry. I'm not sure if, I, if you're getting some resist, there is some reflection there. So I have to wait for that heavy part to dry, otherwise it really doesn't take that long. The rest of it won't take that long to dry before you can um, go over it. So I think we're just going to wait a moment um, for that to dry and then I'll come back and show you the swatch sticks. So my resist pen dried. Where it was thick it's a little sticky but it should be okay. If it doesn't go thick like that it's really quick to dry but because I did have that thickness it did take a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do now is just put water over the card. And because I'm using the swatch sticks, it just um, helps them to move around. If I already have water on the card, it just gives them something easier to blend and all that together. I'm not putting water over the whole card. I want the outside to still be a little white. And I'm going to use the greens and blues this time. And so I just take the stick and randomly apply a bit of color. I'm going to try and sort of blend, blend them around. You can see some of my words starting to pop up. is really dark. I'm going to go back in with some of the green and blend out some of that color. So you can see how quick and easy it is to just use these swatch sticks to add color to um, your project. And now you can really see that my word hello is popping out there. And then what I can do is, it comes with a little water brush. I can use the water brush to um, try and remove some of that from the resist. Or you can take a paper towel and just go with your finger around where you wrote and it will take the color off the resist keep moving it around if you 
So the resist pen is fun. You can use it freehand like I did here. You can use it with stencils to make different uh, designs with stencils. You can draw, you can write, and then add any sort of watercolor. If you don't have the swatch sticks, um, any watercolor really will work with it. Oops, I went on a spot on my paper towel where I already had a bit of color. So now I have a bit of brown on my project. And there we have the resist pen with the Cosmo Cricut swatch sticks. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like our video, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Scrap Time Videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.